it's all on video. There's a reason it's called the war on crime. For the next 60 minutes, we'll put you on the front line. You'll see the scariest pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no. Even citizens on patrol. To show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. When officers start their shift, they have no way of knowing what the day will bring. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell, and if there's one thing I've learned after three decades in law enforcement, it's this. Crooks will never cease to amaze you. Bringing criminals to justice can be one of the most exciting and surprising jobs you ever experience. So stick around. We're about to show you how crazy this ride can be. St. Louis, Missouri. You're about to see the terrifying consequences of criminal desperation. We are eastbound on the 40 at a very fast clip. The driver of this suburban just shot and killed his wife and her friend. We're going about 100 miles an hour. With police closing in, the murderer knows he has nothing to lose. You can see there are several police officers in the chase. He flies through rush hour traffic, determined to get away or die trying. Oh, there he goes. Off the road, bouncing, and he's rolling now. And he just got ejected. What a horrible crap. The fugitive loses control. Oh, there he goes. Bouncing his vehicle across an on-ramp in a spray of sparks. He clips a guardrail, losing a tire, then flies across four lanes of traffic below, slamming down into a devastating roll. Off the road, bouncing. The vehicle's rolling now. The man is thrown from the three-ton machine. And he just got ejected. And almost crushed under the mass of metal. What a horrible crash. Police race in. The first officers are just arriving on scene now. And they're surprised to find the renegade still alive. Give me an ambulance, fire truck, everything. They rush him to the hospital. But this killer will later succumb to his injuries. We are eastbound on the 40 at a very fast clip. His reckless run from the law about 100 miles an hour. made him a ticking time bomb. Oh, there he goes. That was bound to self-destruct. He just got ejected. What a horrible crime. Bangkok, Thailand. On a busy street, a car stops in a no parking zone. It would be easy to mistake the driver as a petty offender. But authorities soon get a chilling tip off. This car is rigged to explode. The street is cleared and a robot is deployed. Unfortunately, the machine can't open the side door. This is a job for a bomb squad officer. He puts on his protective suit, hoping he can disarm the explosive without disarming himself. After his gear checks out, he approaches the vehicle. The cop cautiously lowers the window and calmly begins assessing the situation. Before he even opens the door, the bomb detonates. Hammered by the full force of the explosion, 
the officer is thrown to the sidewalk. Somehow, despite the violent blast, the cop gets to his feet and even walks to the medics. The Kevlar and foam suit saved his life. In the ensuing investigation, officials uncover a horrifying detail. The bomb was triggered by remote control from someone nearby. The cowardly terrorist watched and waited for a chance to cause maximum carnage. But his violent plot was foiled thanks to one cop who fearlessly faced this danger head on. Houston, Texas. A bevy of police and sheriff's deputies are in hot pursuit of a domestic abuse suspect. When confronted at the scene of the crime, he ran, ravaging his bumper when he plowed through the police barricade. The young man is jacked up on adrenaline-fueled rage, and now he's targeting squad cars with deadly aggression. He rams a cruiser, sending it careening into the concrete divider and tossing it upside down. If this is how he treats law enforcement, there's no telling what he'll do to a civilian. Police race to shut down entrance ramps. But just containing him will not do. The runner is fast approaching downtown, where traffic is snarled. Police have to end this frightening chase, now. A deputy's SUV surges ahead to box him in, daring the fugitive to strike again. He takes the bait. He gets cocky and tries to bulldoze the larger vehicle. He knocks the SUV into a sedan, but throws himself into a tailspin and the ravaged car slams the retainer wall, losing its bumper. Officers swarm before the defiant outlaw can pull any more tricks. And police find that the perp cracked open his head when his car smashed into the wall. But they also find a large stash of ammo in the back seat, a vivid reminder of how dangerous this lunatic could have been. This raging rampage earns him 24 years in prison for his violent assault on officers. But thanks to their teamwork, the biggest victim of his abuse was himself. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos, Police fight for their lives against criminal rage. A hot-tempered brawler swipes an officer's cruiser. A bone-headed crook tries to pummel a cop. And later, a traffic stop attack leads to a horrifying shootout. Next. thing deputies do before hitting the road is make sure their gear is primed and ready to go. But there's always a danger that their equipment could end up in the wrong hands. And you'd be shocked what crooks try to get away with. Stand the car. Get in the car. Somerville, South Carolina. An officer pulls over a man suspected of robbing a department store. The thief reportedly punched a clerk in the mouth. And now he's ready for round two. The bruiser looks to trade blows, but it's the patrolman's 50,000 volt taser that packs a real punch. Incredibly, the shock doesn't stop this hothead. 
he charges the cop, and the fight rages into the street. A second unit arrives, and the hoodlum finds himself outnumbered. He retreats with seemingly nowhere to go until he dives into the open door of the cruiser. The renegade peels out in the stolen police car. He roars past oncoming units before they can establish a roadblock. Feeling invincible in the souped up prowler, he terrorizes the streets at nearly 100 miles an hour. Drivers on both sides of the road have no time to react as the menace tears down the center line. But this vehicle has more horsepower than he can handle. He loses control, nearly taking out a pickup. And making a sharp turn becomes a major battle. But instead of taking a hint, the punk picks one fight too many. A utility truck cuts him off, and the cruiser gets KO'd. The shaken thug is trapped inside the mangled wreck. He manages to bust out the window, but police are there to bust him. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The man later admits to being high on crack cocaine. He now faces six years for this foolish fight and dumber flight. Because even if drugs made him think he was indestructible, inevitably, he came crashing down. Dayton, Ohio. A masked thief strolls into a drugstore at 2 a.m., looking for a quick score. He tells the clerk he has a gun in his pocket and demands the cash from the register. The employee can hardly believe her bad luck. This is the second robbery she's faced tonight. But for the crook, it's even worse. A cop has just shown up to collect the video from the earlier stick-up. The over-eager bad guy is so busy focusing on the green, he doesn't even notice the boy in blue. Amazed at what's happening right in front of him, Officer Josh Campbell draws his gun. That should be the end of it. But not for this lame brain lawbreaker. He plays innocent, showing that the only thing in his pocket is his hand, not a weapon. But when Campbell orders him to the ground, the innocent act goes out the window. He is now actively resisting arrest. Lucky for him, Campbell won't shoot an unarmed man. He puts his gun away and tries to wrestle the perp to the ground. It's a brutal challenge. This man is taller and heavier than he is. The desperate robber takes his best shot at the lawman. But the cop absorbs every blow, refusing to buckle. As the criminal lunges for the door, Campbell snags his jacket and throws him in a headlock. It's still anybody's fight, and neither man is giving an inch. But suddenly, a good Samaritan decides to help. And his added weight is just what the officer needs. Together, they soon have this bumbling bandit under control and under arrest. This halfwit didn't have the brains to be a successful crook, but he nearly had the brawn. He's just fortunate this officer didn't need a sidearm to swing the scales in his favor. Up next on world's wildest police videos. A pedestrian forces an officer into a gun-slinging battle. A bumper-bashing runner 
sparks a fiery finale. And a batty thug lays the wood to a cruiser. The punks are getting rolled next. Guilford County, North Carolina. Corporal Wes Meacham stops a man walking along a country road at 4 a.m. Get your ID with you tonight. Uh, you know, I'm not saying you do anything wrong. I'm just asking, you know what I mean? Like, so we don't get many, many people walking this time of night. The man doesn't appear intoxicated. Oh, let me get this soda, sir. OK, that's cool. You got your ID right there? But something seems wrong. Got a haircut and a shave since this was taken, ain't you? Meacham wants to run his ID. All right. Can you give me just one second? I'll be right back with you, OK? 331 in the station. 331. Daniel Roy Smith. His ID card is showing to have a Winston-Salem address, but he's currently living in uh, Pleasant Garden. The computer confirms the corporal's suspicions. I think he's got an NCIC hit. This guy is not where he should be. Mr. Smith, let me ask something. I'll be honest with you. Are you supposed to be in a halfway house or something like that? OK, you sure about that? It turns out Mr. Daniel Smith is an escaped bank robber. You don't have, you don't have anything on you, weapons or anything, do you? Sir. Can you step over here for me for just a second, please? And he's about to realize his cover is blown. Just lay, lay, lay your little satchel thing right there. Well, you, you might have a, a warrant on you. Don't do this. Don't, don't do this. Stay still. Mr. Smith. Go run up on me, Okay, 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 I'll stay down. The suspect pulls a gun and charges Meacham. The officer trips and falls before he can draw his own sidearm. Okay, I'll stay down. Smith has the drop on him and goes for it. No, no, I'm good. Three thirty one signal zeros. I have been shot at and I have hit the subject. Meacham draws rapidly and returns fire. Daniel Smith is down, but he still has his gun. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! 331. 331, go ahead. I believe I've not been hit. I can't tell you for certain. The subject has been hit. Although Smith uh, is bleeding from four bullet wounds, he a... still won't drop his weapon. Buddy, put that gun down! Get your hands in the air! No! Get your left hand up! The corporal realizes he can't secure this guy on his own. My exact location, I'm at Pleasant Garden Road in Wiley Lewis. Fortunately, backup is there in less than three minutes. Ron, he's got a gun, and we got to get it away from him. He's been hit. And the tag team quickly moves in. The gun's right there at his hands. Got it? I'm going to go and look at the gun. Don't you move. Put your hand behind your back. Got it? Just stand on that gun. You got any more guns on you? This suspect is not going to have any more guns for a long time. 54 years, to be exact, for attempted murder plus his prior bank robbery. All police agencies train officers to be polite. Can you step over here for me for just a second, please? But to always expect the unexpected. Yeah. Oh, right up, because if only one out of a hundred suspects is a deadly threat, this might be the one. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! As important as it is to bust criminals, it's more important for an officer to save lives. Sometimes this means shielding the public from a violent offender. Other times it means protecting a criminal from himself. Devonshire, England. Police are after the most dangerous type of suspect there is, a suicidal one. After being alerted to the man's situation, officers find him charging through traffic at 80 miles an hour. They also learn something even more frightening. He's toting a container of gasoline inside the vehicle. The petrol packing desperado doesn't care what happens to him, which could make it impossible for cops to keep everyone else safe. Two units coordinate a rolling roadblock, but this bloke's ready to raise some bloody hell. He bashes one squad car 
tries to force the other off the road. The officer won't give in. He maneuvers back in front of the sedan. The punk rams him, too. It's going to take more than just a couple of units to stop this heavy hitter. Farther ahead, three more form a barrier. And this time, the culprit can't break through. He rear ends another cruiser. Locking bumpers and getting stuck. The chase is over. But the desperate man wants to end things his way. He ignites the fuel, turning his car into a fireball. Officers scramble to free him, but the heat is already overwhelming. And the blaze is too intense for their small extinguishers. Finally, they manage to pull the driver to safety. He's badly burned, but still alive. Get out to the vehicle. Police back away from the fire. And not a moment too soon. The flames reach the gas tank and consume the entire vehicle. This self-destructive suspect planned a date with Doom. And he was bent on bringing some company. But his blaze of glory only earned him three years in jail. And a lot of counseling from the prison shrink. Still to come on world's wildest police video. These surprises will blow you away. A convenience store hoodlum's crime gets crippled by an unlikely hero. Two big house brawlers receive some shocking discipline. And a bank robber's wild getaway gets a high caliber smackdown. Plus, vicious fanatics launch a roadside ambush and trigger a terrifying gunfight. Next. Duluth, Minnesota. When police respond to a domestic disturbance, they know they're walking into a volatile situation. But this officer never expected the fight to come to his windshield. From the side of the road, a bat-wielding maniac comes out swinging at the cruiser. Acting fast, the patrolman throws it in reverse. He just hit my fucking bat. But the Wild Hood gives chase, slugging away at the vehicle. The front glass is obliterated. Then the patrol car rams into a parked sedan. And the batty thug takes aim at the cornered cop. What a shot! Just fired, video just fired, I shot him. Start me an ambulance. When the rager tries to tee off on the lawman's head, Put it down! the officer has to fight aluminum with lead. Put it down! Shots fired, Police later find that the drunken man had smashed every window and TV in his parents' house during a vicious fight with his father. He just hit my fucking ass. But when he threw this cop the ultimate curveball, he took an even more ballistic response to slow him down. What a Shots fired, video, shots fired. Start me an ambulance. Pascagoula, Mississippi. Cops pursue what may be the most violent suspect they've ever encountered. He appears to be the handsome guy bandit, so called for the mask he wore while knocking off banks in Texas. But he was sporting more than killer looks. He's also wanted for attempted murder of police officers. Now, he's tearing across the freeway two states removed from his crime spree. Mississippi law enforcement wastes no time laying down spike strips. But 
the sneaky fugitive manages to sidestep their trap. Police are hell-bent on stopping this would-be assassin. Up ahead, Sheriff Mike Bird races forward in his unmarked unit to intercept the offender. Matching the man's pace, Bird sees a shot and takes it. Steering with his right hand and shooting with his left, he fires out his window at the perp's tire. It's a perfect hit. Shredded rubber flies off as the vehicle limps to a halt. Lawmen surround the car, preparing for a showdown. Instead, Pretty Boy is pretty woozy. From some prescription meds he was downing during the chase. Put him in my car right now. But the pills won't jeopardize his health. All they do is make him extremely cooperative. I got worn out. I was a handsome guy bandit from Dallas. Robbed 11 banks. You want a bank robbery? Call the FBI in Dallas. I'm not going to the ones looking for him. And that's why he's not called the smart guy bandit. This thief thought he could hide behind a fancy disguise. But in the end, the law still tracked him down. And once police unmasked this ruthless marauder, the handsome guy bandit admitted every ugly deed. The handsome guy bandit from Dallas. Call the FBI in Dallas. I don't know what looking for. Vancouver, British Columbia. It's a slow Saturday night for convenience store owner Cindy Gerwell. She makes her usual rounds while chatting with a friend on the phone. A young man enters the shop and heads to the counter, looking to buy a $2 lotto ticket. Cindy doesn't notice how he fidgets and scratches nervously. She returns to make the sale. When the customer fishes in his wallet, he pulls out an obviously counterfeit $50 bill. This she notices. Cindy quickly reclaims the ticket and keeps the phony cash as evidence. The agitated man tries to snatch it back, but Cindy's saving it for the cops. She calls 911. Furious, he comes after her until an unlikely hero rolls in. Larry Skopnik may be in a wheelchair, but it's the perp who gets cut off at the knees. Larry wrestles him to the floor and clings valiantly, refusing to let the dirt bag go. Others join in the fray, giving Larry a helping hand. Inspired by the wheelchair warrior, they take the punk's best shot and tag team him in a brutal struggle until Mr. Funny Money is completely sapped of energy. At last, the corrupt counterfeiter gives up, and the citizen posse plops him in a chair of his own. When the cops arrive, there's nothing left to do except cuff this bad boy and cart him to jail. When this crook couldn't pass a bogus bill, he threatened to do some real harm. He never counted on someone in a wheelchair being such a stand-up citizen. Just ahead, on world's wildest police video, confrontations get ballistic. Two angry jailbirds turn a holding tank into a battlefield. And a minor traffic offense spawns a major moving violation. Next. A large part of a patrolman's day is spent dealing with incidents along the roadside. Believe it or not, this can be one of the most dangerous aspects of the job because these situations can be a magnet for mayhem. Brooklyn Heights, Ohio. The streets are slick with snow which means police are working overtime, responding to accidents. Lieutenant John Lambert begins his shift attending to a one-vehicle collision. Hello there. 
A motorist has spun out and hit a guardrail. Lambert surveys the damage and determines they'll need a tow truck. In spite of the harsh conditions, this traffic stop has turned out to be fairly routine. But it's not over yet. Lambert spots a skidding car as it slams his cruiser. In a split second, he shoves the man to safety and gets walloped over the railing. The officer lies in pain. Both drivers scramble to his aid and quickly call for help. Lambert has suffered several broken bones, but his quick move kept this crash site from becoming a death trap. In Cincinnati, Ohio, police help at another roadside incident. A commuter's vehicle is slid out on black ice. 10 12, dispatch. And it's not the only one. An out of control sedan rams the first car, smacking the cop over the barrier and pinning the civilian against it. Sandwiched between metal and concrete, he yells in agony. The first car pulls away, giving him some relief. Meanwhile, the downed officer calls for help from behind the wall. Luckily, both men recover from the wintry wipeout. But weather isn't always to blame for mishaps like these. In Nashville, Tennessee, Officer Todd Nelson cites a woman for driving too fast. I just figured we had everything else we could order. But... Unfortunately for Nelson, he's not fast enough. A rubbernecker hits another passing vehicle, knocking his pickup right into the patrolman. The body slam leaves Nelson too stunned to move. I've been in an accident. Help! Civilians take over the scene until other officials arrive. Just make sure the traffic stops. Luckily, this tough as nails cop suffers no major injuries. You're all right. You're probably just in shock. Police know that every traffic stop can put them in the crosshairs. Because anywhere there's trouble at the roadside, there's the possibility of someone piling on. Even more. Lansing, Michigan. It's late night in lockup. And most of these culprits just want to sleep. But some punks never stop causing trouble. A jailbird squawks noisily on the payphone to get a buddy to bail him out. He's annoying his fellow detainees, but they're all too intimidated to speak up. Except for one. Another perp tries to help out with their location. But the loudmouth is hardly grateful. He returns the favor with a vicious pummeling. The tough guy goes to town on his sleepy cellmate. But all he does is awaken the beast. The shirtless suspect turns the tables on the thug. Prisoners scatter as he exacts his ruthless revenge. Guards yell. But these two won't give up their power struggle until cops deliver a shocking surprise. Just as the retaliator throws a knockout blow, police zap him with a taser. And both men go down. The Bash brothers lie in a daze as officers quickly take control. The Zap Bruiser maintains his innocence. But no matter who started it, there won't be a rematch. 
This blowhard took a helpful hint as fighting words. But he lashed out at the wrong cellmate. And the only thing that saved him from this jailhouse justice was 50,000 volts of police intervention. Coming up on world's wildest police video. Oh my God. Two criminals with no conscience. A police force with no fear. These guys shot a police officer. For both sides, there's no backing down. Next. Every time an officer puts on that uniform, their life is on the line. Because even the most routine responsibilities can turn deadly in the blink of an eye. West Memphis, Arkansas. A policeman pulls over a van at this inspection checkpoint. Inside is a father, his 16-year-old son, and their pet dog. At first, nothing about this family triggers any warning bells for the officer. He doesn't realize these men are members of the Sovereign Citizens Movement, a group that advocates violent resistance to law enforcement. Although the dad has no state-issued documentation, he seems to be cooperative. A second unit arrives to assist. But as they run the man's information, they're unaware that he and his son are cooking up a ruthless plan. A moment later, just off screen, the dad shoves one of the cops, and his kid quickly reacts. When the father makes his move, the son shoots both officers with an AK-47. The boy guns down one of the injured cops execution style before ducking back inside the vehicle. As the man returns, the teen continues his merciless assault. Then the father-son team calmly drives away. A nearby witness reports the horrible crime. 911, where is your emergency? Exit 275 on 40. These guys just shot a police officer. Please hurry. When backup arrives, the word quickly goes out. Two officers have been killed. For Chief of Police Bob Powder, the news is especially devastating. Alongside Officer Bill Evans, is the chief's own son, Sergeant Brandon Powder. Bob's men hold him back from the site. Oh, my God. Cops immediately issue an APB. Do we know what we ought to look out for? It's a white van. It's going to be perfect. An hour and a half later, the culprit's van is seen outside a local store. As units converge in full force, the suspects make a break for it. They're quickly shut down. Officer Mike Neal plows into the van and is caught in a point-blank shootout. The thugs blast over 200 rounds, 30 straight through Neal's windshield as units strike back from every side. Miraculously, the bullets miss and Neal peels away to give fellow officers a clear shot. He bolts from the barrage of flying lead. Police have the gunmen surrounded, allowing only their dog to run off. A tense moment later, a final shot rings out, and then silence. Police proceed with caution. The suspects may just be reloading, but as patrolmen approach the vehicle, they can see they've hit their mark. The hoodlums have been killed after forcing a violent display of public justice. Investigators soon learn this father and son had a long history of anti-government activity. Their hatred of authority led to a shocking attack that tore another father and son apart. Oh my God. But their violent act 
only strengthen the resolve of police. There's no telling how many lives officers save today. When they put themselves in the line of fire and shielded the rest of us from these homicidal anarchists for good. No matter the crime, no matter the criminal, the lesson remains the same. The minute crooks cross that line and blaze a path into lawlessness, police will be waiting. It can happen anytime or anywhere. But a day of reckoning is coming that will expose the bad guys to the world and bring them to justice. Oh, there he goes. 